5.7a, Formation of Fossil Fuels. In this activity, students use cereals to explore the processes that led to the formation of sedimentary rocks and fossil fuels. Prepare the following items in advance for each group in your class. Four small plastic baggies. A large plastic bag to protect against spills or tears. Two clear plastic cups. One half cup each of various cereals. Three cups of chocolate cereal. Three fourths of a cup of coffee grounds. A measuring cup. A mixing bowl with spoon. Water. And a plastic spoon. Modeling Rock Layers First, set up your materials for each rock layer. To model the formation of coal, mix three cups of Cocoa Krispies and three-fourths of a cup of ground coffee in a bowl. Add three-fourths of a cup of water and toss lightly to mix. Measure one-half cup of this mixture and place into a plastic baggie. Seal and label accordingly. For the remaining layers, place one half cup of Fruit Loops, Bran Flakes, and Cheerios into separate sandwich bags. Label them to type, sandstone, shale, and sand sediments, respectively. Now we can model the foundations of rock. For the bottom layer of sediment, Pour the bag of Cocoa Krispies and coffee into one of the plastic cups. Draw what this material looks like in the student journal. Next, create a layer of sand by crushing Fruit Loops. Pour on top of the bottom mixture. Add this layer to the drawing. Add shale sediments by crushing Bran Flakes and pour over the sand layer. As before, draw the rock layer. For the final formation, crush Cheerios cereal to model the sand that was blown into the area by wind. Pour this last layer over the shale and add it to the drawing. That completes the rock layer model. Now, students can model the pressure it takes to form fossil fuels and sedimentary layers. Place a fist inside the empty cup and push down hard on top of the rock layer model. Observe what happens to the bottom layer of the model, which contains the organic sediments. As a final exercise, illustrate what the layers look like after heat and pressure have been applied, and answer the remaining questions in the student journal.